Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Teacher Dorcas, and today I want to show you a simple tutorial of how to use <coughs> this learner digital device that we use in our public schools in Kenya. Uh, to use it to teach our learners how to, uh, to access Excel, that is the spreadsheet and Microsoft Word. So grab a notebook and a pen and let's do this. This is the LDD, the learner digital devices in our public schools in Kenya. So this is, you're going to use this LDD to be, I'm going to show you a very simple app that you can download and be able to teach your learners how to do Excel and spreadsheet on the tablet. Because as for now, using an Excel sheet is a challenge. Even if you get it from the teacher's the, um, tablet, uh, laptop, I mean, and send it here, it keeps telling you document not supported, document type A or file. So I'm going to show you a very simple app that you can download. And you can practice with your learners the whole of that strand of handling data, whether it is in grade 5 or grade 6. And at this time where we have the Kenya National Examination Council Assessment, where they're supposed to do spreadsheet, and in grade 5 where they're supposed to type a document, this app is going to be <coughs> of help to you. So uh, assuming that you have tethered your phone and your data is on, you're going to go to your browser of choice. For me, I use Chrome. So I'm going to go to my Chrome. And I'm recording using my phone so that you can be able to follow through. So pardon me, I'm hoping it's clear for you. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. So once on your search browser, I go to your keyboard. So my keyboard is very up. So what I do, I'll just drag it so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to come to here and type WPS. Type WPS, it's already there. But I'm going to type it anyway to guide you WPS dot com slash office slash windows then you put another slash at the end then you search or you tap enter give it time then me so there it's going to bring you to this page you can see wps office for windows free download click on free download so once you click on free download, watch this part. You can see it downloading very fast. Give it time until it gives you that W icon. Then you click on it to open. Opening. It's going to bring you to this part. Windows protected your computer. You need an administrator password. So the administrator for all these tablets, uh, you are going to, I'm going to show you the password. It's going to be capital letter N small letter m then you go to numbers you write um six four three you go back to letters capital letter p small letter p then capital letter q so um it is hidden so let me long press so that you can see the password if you need to copy it you copy it capital letter m small letter m six forty three capital letter p small letter p and a q then now you click run anyway. So again, it's going to bring you to this page. Click there to accept the terms and condition. Then click install now. Then you give it time to install. Once it installs, it's going to open up. So once you're through downloading, it's going to open up to this page. And you can see you have documents, spreadsheet, presentation, that is PowerPoint, PDF, and all, and all the others. So uh, let's assume briefly, let me show you if we are, if it's grade 5, or how we are going to do the, the Word document. Eh? Because I'm assuming probably most of us, we are still the ones teaching grade 5 and still grade 6, science and technology. So just one minute, you click on document. Then it brings you to this page. Click on blank. Click on that part. Creating file, just give it time. And there you go. You can see replica of Microsoft Word. And they'll be able to type all in paragraph and everything and edit all that is required. Then now, um, as you note here, with the tablets, with um, if you if you're using WordPad, there's an option of using WordPad, which is in our tablet right now. So you can use WordPad or still use this one. So on WordPad, this part is written file, and actually that is what actually Microsoft Word also has file. 
So you click File, Save As to save your file. But you can see with WPS, it is menu. It's still the same. Click menu, then Save As. You save your document for the first time. And as you continue editing and typing, you click Save to save your progress. So that is how you are going to do Word. So let us go back to our focus. So I'm going to cancel this document and go back to the dashboard. So we're on Spreadsheets. Here we are. Again, we have a blank page. We are starting. Click on the blank page. Give it time. Creating file. <coughs> and there you go. So there is our Excel sheet. So what we have the learners are supposed to do, they are supposed to type. Uh, as in, uh, the learners are supposed to tabulate the data according to rows and column, and we are going to add. So for this video, I didn't want us to do the actual work. I just wanted you to show you how to download the app and install it and use it to do Excel. So for, But just briefly, one minute, let me show you. Let's say, for example, we want to type the first column. We want to type, um, if I can remember, according to the assignment. So what I do, according to our tablets, you see this arrow facing up. I usually tell them to tap it until it changes to white. Then when it changes to white background, here the arrow now, whatever they are going to type, it's all going to be in capital letters. Eh? So we want our title. So our title, you are told to write the name of your school. So I'm just going to write exactly that. Name of school. And then the, you tap outside and name of school appears. If you are supposed to type um, something, that's so, so let's say this time I don't want everything to be in capital letter. So when it's still in capital letter, I'm going to write the next uh, word. Let's say, for example, I want to write the word desk. D will be in capital letter. Now to go to small letter, I'm just going to click on the arrow and the white background is gone. So it's back to small letters. Then I write desks. Sorry. And you click outside and the work is there. So um, I'm just showing you that it, this one is workable and it is working and we've practiced it with my learners and it is and it is good to go. Video. Uh, if you want us to make a next video where we will now do the, the exam here online using this app, kindly comment in the comment section and, we are, and I'm going to guide you through and we see and we make our work easier. This app will really make our work easier. It was a bit stressful but now we found a solution. Hope it's going to also help you out. Thank you.